All right, let's press onwards here then. What else do we got? What do we got? Okay, screen pump effect in Camtasia. Here's kind of a interesting little trick. So let's see if we can set up a little demo here. We'll go to the end and let's just add us some media. Set up a little thing here for us. So this is it happens to be an image because the demo's easy, could be a video clip, whatever. But one thing that we can do, again, if we want to grab someone's attention or do something to snap their eyeballs back, it's called a pattern interrupt. And in our videos, a lot of times these are just little tricks and things that we want to throw in to interrupt the pattern that someone gets into when they're watching a video. If nothing's changing really, you know, nothing really interesting is happening, they fall into this pattern. And there's a technique called a pattern interrupt, which means we're just going to throw something at them visually and kind of jank the rug out from underneath them uh, so that they, you know, it's a little attention snap. It's a very useful and frequent technique that we use. So this one, I call it a screen pump, and it's stupidly simple to do. So let me just kind of do it for you real quick, because it's that easy. And you'll see kind of the net effect and demo of that. So here's my media. Could be an image, could be video, whatever. I have clicked on it to select it, and I'm going to split the clip. I'm then going to take the playhead and I'm going to move ahead, oh gosh, just a little bit, right? Let's even zoom in some more. And sometimes what I actually do is I'll use my period and comma keys, which step the playhead through time. So I'm going to move ahead just like one, two, three, four, five, six, and let's try like eight frames, okay? Eight steps when you're zoomed in is basically eight frames. So I'm going to select the media again, and I'm going to split it one more time. So now I have basically three you know, sections to this, and you'll notice that well they all look the same. That's because the properties of all three, even after the splits, are still the same. So I'm going to go to the little piece, little bitty piece here that we made, and I'm going to highlight it by clicking on it. And then I'm going to go to the properties, and I'm just going to scale this thing up. I don't know. Let's scale it to like, I'm going to try 100. Hit Enter. OK, and let's just kind of see what the net effect of that is. I'll let this roll. OK, screen pump. It starts here, and I'll step through this time. Jumps up, nothing fancy, and then goes back. So if you think about it, it's kind of like animating without animating. But it has, you know, just this, again, jank the rug out from under your feet kind of a effect. Boom, boom. And of course, you can make it longer if you like. Uh, or whatever. Uh, if this was a video clip, you wouldn't want to just like extend to make it longer. You'd kind of undo, undo, and you know try a different slice size. But since this is an image, I can kind of make this easy and last as long as I want. Yeah, maybe even that's a little more. And you just got to kind of play with it uh, to see what is most visually impactful. In fact, let's try, let's play some more. So now I got this little extra piece in the middle here. Let's do something. Again, without animating, I'm just going to, let's rotate it. Let's screw around with this a little bit. Let's rotate it. And let's see what that looks like. <laughs> so now, what's it going to do? It's going to not only jump in size, but it's also going to, just for a, a, this brief seconds, you know, this 19 frames worth of time, let's see what happens. Okay, that's even a little more impactful, isn't it? And of course, I'm not doing any animation to make that happen. I'm just changing the properties of this 
individual clip that I made by just splitting. So I don't have to animate anything. I can just change properties, which in effect is animating, right? Animation is just changing properties. Okay, so that's kind of a fun little thing. Uh, let's try it even on something else. So here, if you guys remember last week, we created a nice little animation from scratch, and I saved this out and gave it to you guys. I'll let this roll. So we built this, not last week, but last session, and it's, uh, you know, kind of a title screen. The downloads with the replay, but let's think about this a second. So here, well, I have a thing, something that's going on here, and what if, like right about here, I want to do a screen pump? Well, this is all grouped up. Okay, so rather than try to mess with each of these individual components, the cool thing about a group, of course, is I should be able to, with the group collapsed, let's split it. Let's move ahead just a little bit. Click on it, split it, and then again, on our middle copy, since everything's grouped together, if we change, like, the scale, it's going to change the scale of everything. This box, the text, all that stuff. So let's try it. Uh, currently it's at 66%. Let's just, again, take it to 100. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and see what happens. Boom, boom. Screen pump. pa pa Sweet. Like it. So you can use it in all kinds of ways. Okay, handy little trick. And now you guys know. You got it. Easy peasy. Good place for a sound effect, says Robert Miller. Yes, absolutely. In fact, I would do that. One of my favorite little sound effects is this. We'll use the famous Auga robot. And it's kind of short, right? So let's dial it in a little bit. Yeah, I'm liking this idea. I'm going to zoom in a little more. Uh, it kind of hangs over the edge here, so I probably want it to start right at the point. So there's the beginning of the wave. I want to see what that looks like. It's probably going to be cool. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. And why is that a great idea? Because guess what? My Auga robot or, you know, whatever sound effect you want to use, guess what that is? That's a pattern interrupt. So now, I got me two. I got the sound effect, which definitely grabs attention, and this extra little visual boost. <laughs> that is sweet. I like it. You could have several pumps in a row to create a pulsing effect. Uh, yeah, you could. And again, the nice part about that is you could do that without having to animate. Could I animate screen pumps? Yeah, I could. But, you know, just splitting and changing, this stuff is probably interesting. So let's, let's see here. Let's go for about two seconds. And then here I'll split it again. I uh, will do the same kind of thing. Split. And here... Let's take it up to like 110 and maybe rotate it the other way. Now, rotation, you got to be a little bit careful because, see, I'm kind of messing up, not filling the screen, but could just scale it more. Like maybe I wanted to zoom in on the good to be king thing. Good ideas. You guys are on the ball tonight. I like it. Okay, uh, well, if that's it, we're about the top of the hour. I'll go ahead and bid you all a dude. Well, I guess we'll call her an evening then. Thanks for coming, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.